Hi, I'm back on the floor. We're doing this again. <laughs> so today I'm going to be stretching my helix. It's currently at three millimeters and here's my cute little taper. This is four millimeters. Let's just, let's just start. Like, this seems to be how I do my videos now. I just say what I'm doing and then I just start and then like I'm done and the video is like two minutes. <laughs> saw a comment on an, uh, another video where someone had asked for more Brenda content. They left in their comment that they wanted Brenda to get her septum pierced and I may or may not have persuaded her. Then again, she is just a picture and I can Photoshop her however the hell I want. <laughs> I keep looking back and forth between my camera and then like my face and now I was distracted the whole time. This is already in. I pushed it from the back to the front this time because, I don't know, I felt like it, I guess. Let's take this front off. Cute. It's lined up. Now screw it and go in the hole. It's moved. Oh my fucking god. I cannot get this in for the life of me. The recording has just hit seven minutes and I still can't get this in. The fact that my phone says seven minutes, that means that I've been trying to get this in for about four minutes now. Oh my god, I finally got it. Ow. Oh, that's really tight. Fun. Looks very lumpy. It'll be fine. It's probably just the swelling. Well, that's done. And that looks fucking awesome. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, hi, follow me on Instagram. But I got my little second lobe piercings. I can't wait to stretch these ones up more so then these little rings kind of just sit to the side and complement, they complement each other. For example, the same as my nose, I obviously have a very big septum ring but I want to get a little, little nostril piercing on the side, something small that just kind of complements the septum not to take over the view. Does that make sense? Like I want my septum to be the main focus, but then to have a little nostril piercing is just for fun. And then that's the same as the second lobe ones. They're just as a little something for fun. And then obviously having my stretches be the main focus point of my ear. Being a stretched helix or a stretched conch, just again, for fun, look. I'm fucking wild. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> I've been stretching something new, like, almost once every two weeks for the last month and a half, maybe even two months. I don't remember when I uploaded my first video, but I know it was at least two months ago now, almost, maybe. I don't know, but I've stretched so much over the last two months and I've been having so much fun with it. Recently, I've been getting a lot more views on my videos. If you're watching this, hi, thanks for giving me attention. Anyway, I guess that's all for this video. Sorry that I got a bit emotional and like sappy and like cringy YouTuber. It was bound to happen one day, am I right? <laughs> thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Yep, all right. Bye.